we're not going to see each other until the week of the fight? No, mira, yo hago mi trabajo. Yo hago mi trabajo y los que tienen que hacer eso, pues, eh, lo hacen, ¿no? Creo que decidimos hacerlo porque ya, ya se había hecho para la pelea pasada. Entonces, a mí, a mí la verdad que eh, es algo que no, no me importa si lo veo o no lo veo, ¿no? Al final de cuentas lo voy a ver en el cuadrilátero y eso es lo más importante. You know, it's something, you know, I don't really care for. At the end of the day, I'm going to be meeting him in the ring. So I'm not worried if I don't see them. It's something that, uh, you know, the, the, whether they decide to do or not, I'm not worried about that. Eddie, when, when you watched the replay of the first fight, what did you see? He was just talking about opportunities that he felt he didn't take advantage of. What did you see? Pues sobre todo la lentitud que tiene Golovkin. Un peleador muy lento y torpe a la hora de, de ir adelante, no sabe ir adelante, no sabe ir atrás, entonces entre más lo estás repasando, más defecto le ves, porque es un peleador común. More than anything, what I saw was that he's a, a very awkward and slow fighter. Every time I see uh, his fights, I see it more and more that he's a, a very slow and awkward fighter, and basically that he's a very basic and common fighter. In, in the uh, first fight, uh, Canelo, you rocked. Golovkin with a good shot. It's probably the most hurt we've seen Golovkin. Uh, is that what gives you the uh, the confidence that you've been talking about a knockout in this fight was that punch? Sí, la verdad que como lo he venido diciendo, creo que la primera pelea me dio la pauta para saber que puedo hacer muchas cosas con el arriba del cuadrilátero y y no quedarlo. No lo lastimé y puedo lastimarlo mucho más en esta pelea. No estamos preparándonos para eso y Y es lo que quiero. Voy con ese objetivo. I'm looking for the knockout. That's what I want, and that's my objective. Um, I, like I've been saying in previous interviews, the first fight gave me the guideline for the second fight, so I know I can knock him out because I heard him the last fight, and that's what I want to do. So, dice, dice Golovkin que tú tienes un gran problema sobre lo que ha pasado, pero también mencionó que eres el mejor que ha enfrentado en el ring, estilo y todo. The, the, question, the question was, you know, despite all that's been said, uh, you still are one of the best fighters that he's been uh, in the ring with. What do you think about that? Mira, creo que él sabe lo que soy. Creo que él sabe lo que soy. O más bien aún no sabe lo que soy. El 15 de septiembre eh, verán otro canelo y, y, y la verdad que estoy muy ansioso porque el 15 de septiembre. You know, he knows who I am. He knows who I am. Even better, he know he doesn't know what I still have left to show, and more than anything, I'm anxious to demonstrate what's left to show in the ring in the rematch. Francisco Salazar actually had the opportunity of joining them in Big Bear when they were training. Uh, six years ago, did you think to yourself he might be a possible opponent for me? No, realmente no. Nunca, nunca me imaginé. Si no, pues nunca hubiera hecho sparring con él. No, nunca por la mente me pasó que iba, que iba a tener esta, esta rivalidad con él. No, actually no, and if I had thought of that, I probably wouldn't have done the sparring with him. So it never occurred to me that he, I would actually have to face him in the future. Canelo, what do you hope the victory proves or defines about yourself? Ganar convincentemente, no? Sea por decisión, pero creo que el knockout es la vía más viable para Para dejar claro que soy mejor que él. The most important thing is that, you know, however we win, it has to be very convincingly, and it has to be more than knockout, just to leave no doubts. Eddie, para elaborar un poco de lo que acabas de mencionar de Triple G, en realidad, ¿qué tanto puede él mejorar desde aquella última pelea y de la última que vimos de él ahora? ¿Qué tanto realmente puede mejorar técnica o no. The, 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 the question for uh, Eddie is, you know, in this past year, how much better can Golovkin actually get, you know, from the last fight? Pues realmente no ha, no se ha visto mejor porque no ha peleado. El pelear un round y medio con un costal como el que le pusieron, pues no es, no es pelea, la verdad. Van en las mismas circunstancias, tiene cada quien un año que no pelea, 
y un boxeador ya de 35 años, 36, ya no aprende nada y más con quien lo esté entrenando. Lo único que le, le ha enseñado es abrir la boca a esta persona. Entonces no va a aprender nada, nosotros estamos aprendiendo poco a poco cada pelea. No, you know, he hasn't learned anything, especially since he hasn't fought in a year. Uh, they're actually in the same place right now because um, he, you know, fighting against a heavy bag like he did last time isn't considered a fight. And, you know, at 35 years of age, there's nothing really you can teach this guy. What they have taught him is to run his mouth. You know, have you ever wanted to knock someone out this bad in your entire career? Any other opponent? Nunca en la vida me he sentido con Never in my life have I felt like I feel today. Yeah. How about criticism towards his physique? Some people claim um, that it looks smaller. It looks more tender. No sé de dónde, no sé de dónde sacan esa, esa. No sé de dónde sacan eso. La verdad, creo que me me veo mejor que que la vez pasada esta vez. I don't know where they're getting that. I think I look better than the, the, the last fight. Eddie, what have you tried to uh, say to Canelo when maybe uh, there may be points where it seems like you know the world's against you? What do you try to say to Canelo to use that as, as fuel to, uh, to win the fight? Well, I don't know how many people are, maybe other people, but there are seven or eight people. Ahí, ¿cuántos seguidores tienes? Como unos 3 millones de seguidores. Entonces yo creo que le hacemos más caso a los que nos siguen que a los que nos están dando la... Yeah, you know, I don't know what kind of criticism. Maybe it's you or maybe a few other people who have been getting criticisms. But, you know, we have 3 million, he has 3 million followers on uh, Instagram. So that's what we're worried about, the people who support us. Thank you. It's John, John, Canelo, you said you never felt any other day like you feel today. Can you tell us kind of candidly how you feel today? Describe to us what you're feeling being here this first time in a long time in the same place with Triple G. Me siento muy motivado. Me siento muy motivado con muchas ganas de estar arriba del cuadrilátero, con muchas ganas de voltearlo. Eh, con muchas ganas de demostrar que soy mejor que él. ¿no? La pelea pasada no, no, no se pudo. ¿Por qué? Porque terminó en empate. Pero creo que esta pelea me siento, me siento muy motivado ¿no? por todo lo que ha pasado alrededor de, de, de todo esto. Y me siento confiado también. ¿no? no en el rival, porque sé que tengo un gran rival enfrente, pero me siento confiado en lo que estoy haciendo y en lo que puedo hacer. I'm motivated. I'm very motivated now, more than anything. And I'm also confident about this fight. But I'm motivated because of all that's been said. And I'm motivated to get in there and get in the ring to hurt him. Um, you know, I'm also very confident, not confident in my opponent because I know who I'm fighting, but I'm confident in my preparation and what I'm going to do in the ring. Canelo, este, como, que es más fuerte de las palabras uno al otro, pero te motiva más las palabras negativas de Golovkin o las palabras negativas de Ariel Santos? What bothers you more or motivates you more, the negative words from Golovkin or the negative criticisms from Abel Sanchez? No, realmente, realmente no me, no me baso en, en lo que dicen o en lo que hablan de mí. Obviamente sí, no, pero mm, por todo lo que se genera, ¿no? Que hablan mal, bien, o se habla eh, o, o dudan, lo que sea. Creo que todo eso, lo que envuelve a, a la pelea, lo que envuelve a mi persona o lo que dicen de mí, obviamente eso me motiva, pero más me motiva a la gente que ha estado ahí siempre. La gente que ha estado ahí siempre apoyándome y es lo que más me motiva, ¿no? Para seguir dándoles triunfos y demostrar que soy el mejor. No, actually, it, I don't really pay too much to those criticisms, but you know, it's part of the entire thing, both the good criticisms, uh, the good things, and the bad things. But what I like to focus on are on the people who have always supported me and who continue supporting me. Uh, you, you say that you you haven't been focusing on the negative criticisms, but something Abel said definitely got under your skin to where recently. You, you lash out a bit and uh, call them a, a dumbass and stuff like that. Um, what was your headspace when you, when you uh, I guess, put that stuff out there? Para toda acción hay una reacción, y esa fue mi reacción. For every action, there's a reaction, and that was my reaction. Thank you. you know, I want to go back to misconceptions. Earlier, uh, Triple G, he stated that 
you know, he expected you to quote unquote fight like a Mexican, stand there and trade with them. Um, before, before fighters come from Mexico who have different styles, so no, I don't think there's a defined Mexican style. Uh, my style is mine, you know, and I'm Mexican. That's what's the most important. Two more questions. Well, what do you think about Blockin trying to, to use Mexican to define himself when he is not in fact actually Mexican? Is that just Blockin? Que es hipócrita. Eso es lo único que pienso. Que es hipócrita. Yo creo que eh, él lo dice para para ganar ganarse al público mexicano quizás pero es hipócrita al final eh, si algo pasa en México no va a estar no va a estar ahí para los mexicanos esa es la verdad you know I think it's hypocritical he's a hypocrite you know maybe he uses it to get some fans but he's a hypocrite if something tragic were to occur in Mexico he wouldn't be there <laughs> ¿Le gustaría enfrentarte a usted? ¿Es una posibilidad de enfrentarte con Jaime Muglia? Jaime Muglia dice que es una posibilidad de que te enfrentes quizás un año y medio o un año. ¿Ves eso como una posibilidad en el futuro futuro? Bueno, es un, un peleador que, que va creciendo poco a poco. Creo que son peleas a futuro. Peleas a futuro que pueden ser. Vamos viendo, ¿no? Falta, falta tiempo, vamos viendo y, y por qué no, si la gente pide una pelea, estamos para eso, ¿no? Para darle al público grandes peleas. You know, it's uh, fights to be made in the future. He's obviously growing and growing as a fighter, but it remains to be seen. But it's a possible, you know, one of the big fights that could be made in the future.